Inside Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Looks like we'll ever have just a quiet year at Hogwarts. In the spring of 2004, the sprawling complex of sound stages at Leavesden Studios came to life as director Mike Newell began production on J.K. Rowling's fourth adventure, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The stories are becoming more complex, darker, and the kids are at an age where they're taking on much more. They can comprehend a great deal. Thank you. What a charismatic quartet. Another new character on the scene is the meddlesome reporter, Rita Skeeter. What a lovely name, Rita Skeeter. Rita Skeeter. So! She is the worst sort of tabloid journalist who just will write whatever she wants to write, lovely. not what is true. Lovely. I call her the caring, sharing face of investigative journalism. Basically, she'll do whatever it takes to get a story, a story which she's already pre-written in her head, which in the case of Harry, does have an element of truth to it. No one else could play her apart from Miranda. She's, she's brilliant. Rita's constant companion is a magical pen with a mind of its own. Rita uses a quick quote squirrel, which means that she has her hands free and all her concentration can be on the person in front of her. Um, which is mostly Harry. Some of the other hey. actors, like Miranda Richardson, who plays journalist Rita Skeeter, need to draw on their experience. I mean, it's what we trained for, for God's sake. Just ignore the quill. Of course, you're no ordinary boy of 12, are you? 14. Your story's legend. Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? Uh, no, I, I didn't enter. <gasps> of course you didn't. There was a whole load of us during the, the Dragon Tournament, sitting, looking at a green screen, and a man with a tennis ball going, and look at this now, and another dragon is coming down here now, and now we're here, and we have sort of like a sort of choreographed fireworks competition, you know, ooh, ah, ooh, duck. <laughs> Young love. Rita is prone to getting the wrong end of the stick. But this is a film with some love stuff. She's just looking in the wrong place. And that's not all. Michael Gambon leaves his street clothes on underneath Dumbledore's costume. Sorry. Good day, champions. Gather round, please. He doesn't call days. I don't blame him, because he's got a very wispy costume. That long thing wouldn't keep much of the cold out. On cold mornings outside, I think he's, he's been known to have a tracksuit on underneath. Well, I call her the caring, sharing face of investigative journalism. What makes a champion tick? Shall we start with the youngest? Lovely. She's absolutely horrible. She's such a piece of work. Your attitude shows at best pathological need for attention. Worst, psychotic death wish. She'll do whatever it takes to get a story, a story which she's already pre-written in her head. Young love. <gasps> And then we have Miranda Richardson, who plays Rita Skeeter. You! Don't even start, you silly girl. She's absolutely horrible. She's such a piece of work. No one else could play her apart from Miranda. Ah, <laughs> She's brilliant. So, who's feeling up to share 